out. Still a ball and a pair of strikes here on Wesley's side. Runner's going to take off at first base, and there's a line drive right to Bo Gatlin. He'll catch it on the line and throw it to first for a very easy double play. Here comes the 2-2 to him, and there's a swing and a miss, strike three. So Dennis gets out of the frame. Here's the 1-1 one, one from Stepter, and there is a sharp ground ball past the third baseman, Trust Claire, and that's going to drift over into left field. And Butler's going to try to advance to third, and he will. The ball gets away down here near the screen, and that will allow Cowan to move up an extra 90 feet. Glad you're with us here on the broadcast. Here comes the 0-2 pitch from Cortez Dennis. That's going to be foul tipped and into the mid of Tanner Parker for a strikeout. Cortez Dennis. And there's a ground ball sharply hit toward Braden Luke. He handles it one at second and a double play at first. What a heck of a double play as Braden Luke flashes the leather once again for Meridian. Here to Bridley Thomas and Thomas will deliver a base hit out to left field. And will they send Luke? They're going to send him. And Luke's coming around third base and he is going to be safe at home. The ball gets away, but Bridley Thomas will move up to second base as Pigpen comes up with a huge single to left field. Here's the 0-1. That's going to be slapped toward left field for a base hit. So Chandler Klein does what he's been doing lately, and Meridian has tied it up at two. And as the weather is going to be moving in tomorrow morning for more rain through the weekend. Swing and a miss, strike three. And Cortez Dennis will strike out a pretty tough customer there in Blazeberry. Here's the one, two, and did he check his swing? Did he go around? Yes, he did, and that'll be another strikeout. So one, two, three goes the Lions here in the top of the third inning. Here's the one, two to Braden, and that's going to be slapped toward left field. Opposite field base hit for Braden Luke. I tell you what, Braden has gotten so much better at going the other direction with the baseball. The bunt will still be on, and Chapman's going to get it down, and they're going to throw toward third base. It's a wild throw into the bullpen, and Luke is going to score on the error, and here comes Thomas around third base. He will score, so the Eagles put the pressure on East Mississippi, and two runs score. Here's the 1-0, and he's going to slap this one out toward left center field. That's going to get into the gap for extra bases. Here comes Chapman around third, and Klein will stand up. Actually, he's going to slide into second base with an RBI double. 1-0 pitch is going to be driven into the corner for extra bases. Just got past the glove of Trostclair. Collier will score, and they're going to hold Gatlin at third, and he is safe at third as the throw came back. But it's an 0-2 count, though, on Luke. And now he's going to drive one out toward right center field. That ball is back. It is back. And it is out of here. Home run for Braden Luke. So Braden Luke goes big fly for his fifth of the season. And Meridian has completely dominated the last couple of innings at the plate as Braden Luke clears the bases with a three-run homer. And he has really pitched sharp for Meridian. Here's the 0-2, and swing and a miss, strike three, as Tanner Parker will have to throw down to first base to complete the strikeout. So another 1-2-3 inning coming up here from Dennis. And there's a ground ball over toward Bo Gatlin. He's up with it. This could be the ball game, and it will be. So Eagles will take game one, 13-2 on the run rule.